we are going to ask all three of our children questions and there is no right or wrong answer. They just can't say, I don't know. At what age is a person an adult? I think the age of 22. Why do you think that? Because 16 you get your driver's license. You, depends in the different states. And you will be able to drink wine when you're 18. Okay. <laughs> and then when you're 19, you're, you still probably won't have kids or nothing. You probably just have a boyfriend, which I'm not going to have a boyfriend or husband. When you're 20, you're going to finally be a pre-adult, so like not a fully adult. <laughs> you're going to explain every year up until I'm 20, then? actually 21. Okay. Yeah, 21. And next year, you're an adult. Thank you for going through the years for us, Alexa. At what age does a kid become an adult? Um, 45. Why 45? Because 45, you're an uh, adult. Okay, all right. At what age is a person an adult? 21. Okay. Okay. I'm not telling you right or wrong. These are what you, you think. Okay. If you could change one rule that your family has, what would you change? There's so many rules I want to change. Okay, just pick one. I think mine would probably be to be able to yell in the house. Because wow. then I said that I can't yell, we can't yell. No, you can't. So, so I want to change it that I can. Oh, okay. If you could change one rule in the family, what would you change? I can't go in the attic. We don't have a rule that you can't go in the attic, but you can't go in the attic. How do people see up there? They have to bring a light. So do you, do you think you want to go in the attic? If you could change one rule that your family has, what would you change? Mm, I don't know. Wait. You can't say I don't know. <laughs> wow, Eva, this is really hard for you. I don't you must know be okay. any rules. I think that means no, she's okay. No, I don't know any rules in this house. I don't know the rules. <laughs> you I don't know, know the rules. She doesn't know any of the rules in this house? Yeah, you never told me. Okay, when, we, when you were in this house, you never told me, okay, these are the rules. No scratching the wall. Oh, not no catching the walls. No touching the walls? Yeah, because then it makes it so hard. Like, you walk around, you can't do anything. Like Okay, I've never had an urge to touch the walls, but I guess you kids do. Of all the things that you are learning, what do you think is the most useful when you are adult, or what do you think will be the most useful for you? All the things you're learning, school, home, all the things you've been learning. Could it be two? Sure. Math and writing and reading. You're not learning to read. And you're not learning to write. Oh. Okay, then um, math. Why do you think math will be the most important? You need to count up your money when you go to the grocery store. Out of everything you're learning, what do you think is gonna be the most important thing to know as an adult? Learning how to do a job. And do you know what type of job you might want to do when you're an adult? A school teacher. A teacher. So that's a good answer because what I'm teaching you and what your mom is teaching you, you're going to know how to teach kids when you grow up, right? Yeah. Okay, good answer on that one. Of all the things you are learning, what do you think would be the most useful as an adult? I think it's math, reading, and writing. Your sister said the same thing, and I said to her, well, you know, you're not learning to read and write. You already learned that. You need to know how to read when you're a grown-up because then you have to, like, read checks or, like, read text messages. Are you a good friend, and why do you think so or not think so? I'm a good friend because I'm nice, and I don't lie to my friends. You don't lie to your friends? No. Are you a good friend? What makes you a good friend? Because I like to play. Okay, that does make a good friend. What else? And I don't eat everyone's snacks. <laughs> He's going to save your snacks, guys. <laughs> that's a good friend. We don't want a friend who eats all of our snacks, do we? No, that's not a good friend, is it? No. Okay. Are you a good friend? And why do you think so? Or why do you think not? Yes, I am a good friend, but depends. Some people might think I'm a good friend. And some people with the... Uh, an opposite personality to me might think that I'm a bad friend, which you're very <laughs> wrong. Okay. So. Alrighty then. How would the world be different if animals could talk? Well, you probably know what they um, want because they'll tell you and you would probably know how they feel and stuff. It'd be a loud world, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> animals and people talking. <laughs> How would the world be different if animals could talk? If people can talk and animals can talk, then people could talk to animals. 
And people can, animals can argue and fight. We can fight with each other? How would the world be different if animals could talk? Animals, like, like what they would say if I'm hungry, or if they would say, like, if I'm thirsty. I think the world, world will be creepier. <laughs> I, I agree with you on that. Because, like, camels will say, I have a hump on my back. <laughs> and cats will, will, instead of saying meow, they'll say stuff. Like, yeah. I want cat litter. <laughs> okay. Would you cheat on a test if you would not get caught? I don't think I would ever cheat on the test, even if a teacher would not um, get me caught, because well, then when you have this, an, um, what is it called? The Assessment. milestone, then you could copy off of that, but you still won't know the real answer. Oh. The teachers watch you so carefully. Okay. Would you cheat if nobody could see you? So what is cheating though? Cheating is doing, um, not doing the rules. If nobody saw you, would you break the rules and cheat? No. It's not good to cheat, is it? No, so no, he wouldn't cheat, even if people were looking at him. Would you cheat on a test if you knew that you would not get caught? No, you know why? Because if I cheat on a test, well, I wouldn't do it because if I cheated, <laughs> that person could be getting self wrong. So then I would get that self wrong. You don't know if the person you're cheating, you're looking at the answer to is right. That person could get an F and that means you get an F. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? I would what would you eat do? chocolate ice cream. That's so grand, Alexis. You already eat chocolate ice cream. Yeah, I know, but like that. Think about it, Alexis. No one can I will see. become uninvisible for a second and I will say, do you want to play hide and seek? And then I'll become invisible again. <laughs> and then they'll find me. Oh, wow. Okay. If you could be invisible for one day, what would you do? I would be invisible and racist so nobody could see me going. That's a pretty good thing. I would sneak and then and then go in the attic. Because <laughs> he wants to go in the attic? Oh, I'll, I'll sneak and get there keys and then drive your car. Drive my car. And then I'll drive your car um, to McDonald's and then get chicken sandwich and then come back. He's got this planned out guys. I hope you don't turn invisible because I don't want him to take my car because he's only four years old. I am going to steal your car when I'm invisible. <laughs> wow, let's hope this doesn't happen. Okay. This is going to happen. <laughs> this is going to happen. <laughs> if you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? And I would go like outside, like in our neighborhood, and see people walking. And if they had like earplugs in or a hat off, I would just take it off. And then I'll just run with it. It'll scare them. So you just be pranking people. That's yeah, what I'll be like people walking around the neighborhood. I'll just get the hat or like the earpods. So you'd be creeping people out. Yeah. Okay. If you could grow up to be famous, what would you want to be famous for? You mean more famous than I am now? Yes. Like famous, YouTube. famous. YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Really? That's it? Well, there you have it, folks. If you could grow up to be famous and everybody in the world knew you, what would you want to be famous for? A famous teacher. A famous teacher? Jerzman wants to do good things in the world. That's good, buddy. A famous teacher. And what would you teach? Oh, addition, math, dividing. And subtraction? And subtraction. So you will be a famous math teacher? Math teacher. Yes, that would be great if that happens. And, and addition teacher. And addition math teacher. And addition teacher. Because I know a little bit of addition. He does know addition. Like, can I test you on addition, guys? He's four years old. So let's throw a test out here. What is five plus three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Absolutely. So he's on his way to being a teacher because that's really good. If you could grow up to be famous, what would you want to be famous for? I would want to be famous for singer. Okay. Can you sing? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hardest thing about being a kid? That's a tough question. You don't get to do whatever you want. And you need to worry about studying, school, grades, homework. That's hard for, about being a kid? Okay. You can't like studying homework? Yeah. I don't know. Some people do. Okay. What is the hardest thing about being a kid? Following the rules. What rule do you not want to follow anymore? Not running. Because what if I want to take my sister but I can't run? If there was no rules, 
you would love to just run all the time. He could be Forrest Gump, just running all the time. Who's Forrest Gump? Who's Forrest Gump? Yeah, it's way way ahead of his time. What is the hardest thing about being a kid? Grown-ups always think they're right, and when you and the kid is wrong, because just because they're older and they've been through school, just like that, and you you're like, yeah, but I've been through this. <laughs> I'm older than you, so. I know way more than you. Grown-ups always think you're making an excuse. So, That's it. to sum it up, it's because grown-ups grown -ups are the hardest part about being a kid. That's what she's saying. Yeah, good. Okay. If you were a teacher and the kids in your class would not listen to you, what would you do? First of all, I would tell them one time, nicely, could you please stop what you're doing? And if they keep doing it, then I will say, you see, all the other people in the different class classes, they're listening, and you're not. So, do you want to set a bad example? And then, if they do it again, happen? and it's really bad, I'll send them to a principal. I mean, the counselor for like counseling. It's for counseling. <laughs> they need counseling for not listening. Okay. If you were a teacher, and the kids did not listen to you in class, what would you do? I will tell their parents to come get them, and I'll tell them that they weren't listening in school. So, if I showed up to class, and I'm like, okay, my son is Johnny. Uh, how come he won't listen to you? Oh, I'll tell him that he wasn't listening in math. Is he a bad kid? Yes. Should he be in the school? No, I'm going to kick him out of the window. <laughs> what a good teacher this is, guys. He wants to grow up to be a famous teacher, but if you're not a good student, he's going to kick you out the window. <laughs> what if there's no window? Um, kick them through the door. <laughs> Jersey. Okay, I don't know if teaching is in his future, guys. If you were a teacher and the kids in your class would not listen to you, what would you do? I would send them all to the principal's office. You'd send your whole class? Uh, at some point, I'll make time to get the principal to talk to the whole class and tell them that they shouldn't behave and like things that you should do. If you could give one gift to every single child in the world, what would it be? Five billion dollars. Oh wow. That's gonna be Why not some people that you don't like? No, it's that every, oh gosh, Alexis. <laughs> if you could give a gift to every kid in the world, what would you give them? A piece of chocolate. <laughs> and I'll give vanilla and chocolate just in case they like vanilla. Oh, that's nice. So you're saying every kid in the world, you would give them chocolate and vanilla because some kids might like vanilla and some might like chocolate. I think only chocolate. You're not gonna give everybody vanilla? Oh. Why not? Because I'm gonna save all the vanilla for me. <laughs> if you could give one gift to every single child in the world, what would it be? Mm. Food water. Food water. That's very good, Ava. That's very nice, actually. I guess because there's a lot. Because of... people don't need phones. If you could travel back in time, three years. So you're how old now? So if you could travel back to when you were five, what advice would you give yourself? To be what, nice. Are you not nice now? I am nice. Things oh, I know. Nice. To let people do what they, if somebody like uh, does something wrong, want, do it again. When you tell them, just don't tell them, let them learn their lesson. Oh, okay. So you feel like you've been trying to help people too much. If you could travel back in time to when you were a baby, what would you tell yourself as a baby? I would tell my baby Jersey that my sisters are going to be annoying. <laughs> baby Jersey not real anymore. <laughs> your four-year-old Jersey. So you're saying four-year-old Jersey would tell baby Jersey that your sisters are annoying. <laughs> I think they annoy each other, guys. Yeah, but they're more annoying than me. Okay, all right. Okay. If you could travel back in time three years, you're eight years old. So if five. you could travel back to when you were five, what would you tell yourself? What advice would you give your five-year-old self? I don't know. You can't say I don't know. No, seriously, this is a hard question. It's supposed to be hard. What would you tell your younger self? Don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> don't get in trouble? Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. But how are you going to not get in trouble? Not do stuff that'll get you in trouble. It was so specific. <laughs> She's so specific. She's so like precise. What five words do you think describe you? Nice, fun, um... Autistic. She said artistic, guys, not autistic. Talented. Okay. And 
chocolate. <laughs> Alex, just get away from me. Chocolate. That is not a description. That is not a description. Oh chocolate tip. So tell me five words that describe you. Funny. Funny is one. Smart. Smart. He's very definitely smart. What's number three? Fast. Fast, because you're a fast runner. What is number four? Good at Roblox. Good at Roblox. And what is the last thing? Good at Minecraft. Good at Minecraft. So that's what people need to know about him, that he's good at Roblox, good at Minecraft, smart, funny, and fast. What five words do you think describe you? Nice, kind. Those are like the same word. Which is better? They're the same kind, word. Kind, pretty, honest, uh, two more. Stylish. Okay. And Wow, this was hard for Alexis too. You guys gotta think more about yourselves. Dice lover. I like dice. Yeah. Dice lover, okay. Wow. Okay. Like dice. Okay. If you could invent something that would make life easier for people, what would it be? Oh, a robot that does everything for you. <laughs> so it can make you be able to fly anything. Wow. Okay. Yes. If you could make one rule that everyone in the world had to follow, what rule would you make? You cannot kill dogs. What about people? Okay, you cannot kill <laughs> you cannot kill people and dogs. Okay. Alright, that's a great rule. I like that rule. Well people um always like every person dies. Yes, but they can die on their own time not being killed. Oh yeah like every dog dies. Did you too. know the oldest person in the world is one hundred and twenty? If there was one rule in the world that everyone had to follow, what would that be? <laughs> no weapons at the airport. No weapons at the airport, Jersey. Guys, do you see? I don't want to get philosophical on this, but even a four-year-old knows that weapons are not good, are not cool. Let's just be nice to each other, right? Look at this, like me and the Jersey man. Only, only nice if you want to cut something. But not people, right? Yeah, only yeah. nice if you want to cut food. If you could make one rule that everyone in the world has to follow, what would it be and why? Mm, everything will be free. You know, if everything was free, then that means, oh, yeah, everything was free. <laughs> if you could invent something, what would it be? A very tall fly. How would you get up there? Climb a big ladder. Climb a big ladder. Oh, and there's a pit of, of bing bags that so around that if you fall, so you won't get hurt. So you won't get hurt. And even at the bottom, because at the bottom you drop, and where does the slide go? Into a lake or something, or to a, rain, or to a rainbow? No. Oh, and it goes to pit of beanbag too. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna land with some beanbag here. So if you could invent something that would make life easier for people, what would it be? It would be, so like this thing that can move houses and like this thing that can make houses float because it would be easier because some people like it out like the house why we moved to this house we liked our house we just didn't like the area so i wish we could just pick up a house put it on a truck send it somewhere and then pop it back down and then it'll look completely normal okay so a house mover the one that you can make your house um float up high and then like go somewhere, anywhere, it is because it's better because you, first of all, you don't have to get out of the house and second of all, no traffic because you're in the air. So wait, you would take your house to work with you? Yeah. All we have to do is park it on top of the building. Well, how many houses are going to fit on top of a building? I didn't say every single house was being. Oh, okay, all right. Only my house. Okay. Bye bye. Is this the end of the video? It's, it's just ending in general though. <laughs> Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show 